Today on the show, we're taking a look at The Adventures of Superman number 498 from January of 1993. Funeral for a friend, number one, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Again TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Alright guys, as I said, today we're taking a look at The Adventures of Superman number 498 from January of 1993. Funeral for a friend, number one. As you can see, this is the second printing. Um, <clears throat> the death of Superman in all related titles was a very strange time for DC Comics. It seemed like as long as it had to do with the death of Superman, everything sold out almost immediately. To the point where they had to go in and uh, print more. So you get, like this one here, this Death of Superman comic. As you can see, there's a number, th Roman numeral 3 up there. That means it's the third printing. Okay? <clears throat> and then, like this one, I'm not even sure what printing this one is. take a look shall we all right so this one actually does not say um, so that means this is a first printing uh, just an alternate cover, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> going on with the death of Superman, or the uh, funeral for a friend. Uh, funeral for a friend was, was collected in the trade paperback World Without Superman. Uh, however, it didn't. Uh, the trade paperback did not include uh, Justice League no uh, America number seventy or the uh, epilogue for Funeral for a Friend. It mainly only collected uh, the titles that had the Funeral for a Friend and the number after it. <clears throat> so, Funeral for a Friend number one picks up immediately where death of Superman left off let's go ahead and open this up and take a look and this coming December uh, once I have more time off again um, I will be doing a retelling of the death of Superman funeral for a friend reign of the Superman and the return of Superman I actually just last night uh, I'm filming this Saturday morning. Uh, this will be up on on Wednesday. Uh, <clears throat> last since Comicsology was having their Superman sell uh, in celebration of 80 years of Superman, um, they had the entire Death and Return of Superman for trade paperbacks for five ninety nine each. Uh, that was a price I could not pass up. I had always wanted all four graphic novels. Uh, and this is for the digital copies. <clears throat> I went ahead and bought all four just so that come next December, when I got more time off, since I just started back to work, uh, my season is really kicking into high gear. Uh, but next December, I'll be able to do the... Uh, retellings of the death of Superman funeral for a friend reign of the Superman and the return of Superman so anyway until then this is what you're gonna get on Comageddon TV unless the other guys um, do something a little different uh, they want to edit it or whatever 
edit their videos. That's fine. I'm cool with that. For me, these are the type of videos you're going to get uh, during the spring, summer, and into the fall. Uh, until my season stop ends. Uh, and then you'll get more of the uh, other type of videos. <clears throat> now, that's not saying I won't do uh, the history of superheroes anymore until then. Uh, I may do a couple here and there. In fact, I've got uh, two or three planned. One of them is the uh, history and origin of Miss Fury. Um, we've got Voltron history, uh, Princess Allura and Keith planned. So I know you guys really enjoy the Voltron videos. Uh, they are some of our most viewed videos on the channel. So with that being said, let's get into this. I really like this picture. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a... It's based around Jimmy Olsen taking pictures after Superman's death. It's by Ordway, Grummet, and Hazelwood. Um, this is a second printing, as you can see right up here. And I show, showed you on the... Uh, on the plastic <clears throat> as you can see here it picks up immediately after Superman died um, there's Bloodwind holding ice she's been injured Guardian Jimmy Olsen Lois Lane and Superman I have to say I, I know I said this during the death of Superman uh, trade paperback review I really enjoy the artwork in this series. Uh, you just don't get artwork like this anymore. Um, I don't know, just something about it uh, really engages me. And I really like the look of Bloodwind, who, as many of you know, most of you probably don't know, at this point is actually the Martian Manhunter. Um, in fact, Bloodwind, in fact, Bloodwind, <clears throat> the real Bloodwind wouldn't actually appear in comics until Justice League America number 76. Um, at least that's what DC Comics, uh, Bloodwind chronology says, uh, I've seen other places where it's a different title, uh, but because that's the official official DC Comics chronology, we're going to go with that. Uh, and anyway, the Guardian here, uh, for those of you who watched the CW Supergirl, that's actually who Jimmy Olsen's character is based on. They kind of merged both Jimmy Olsen and the Man and the Guardian together um, here you know Bloodwind has already stated that he doesn't sense any life in Superman and uh, I, I forget his name Dublix, something like that. Anyway, uh, he also uh, agrees with Bloodwind. He doesn't detect any signs of brain activity or anything in Superman as well. Um, Bloodwind ends up taking Ice to the hospital. Uh, Jimmy has to kind of pull Lois away. Guardian tries to give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. However, because of Superman's uh, physiology, uh, it, it's like it's like trying to blow into a titanium gas tank. Um, in fact, he says, uh, 
His lungs are like steel tanks. All I've got doesn't even get a rise out of his chest. So, and Cat Grant has to kind of snap Lois out of it. Um, if anyone's going to write the story of Superman's death, it's got to be Lois, according to Cat. Um, got Dan Turpin here, who's really upset. Uh, you know, in the animated series, and I'm not sure about the comic. I'm pretty sure, though, that in the comic, he didn't really like Superman as much either. Uh, here we see the true form of this version of Supergirl. And Lex Luthor Jr. comes along and takes her away. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, here's a scene where Kat tells Lois to snap out of it. She's got to be the one to report it. Uh, we have Crime Buster here, or Gang Buster, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, who is in a relationship with Kat Grant. She, he's watching her son. Uh, her son just kind of says, yeah, Superman's dead, no big deal. You know, he was a weenie anyways and kind of upsets Gang Buster. And Gang Buster... Is really upset because Cat got him to retire as Gangbuster. Uh, he he really wishes he could have been out there helping, but you know Gangbuster is really one of those '90s era characters. Um, just a street level vigilante uh, who might do okay in comics today. He was kind of a D-list character back in the day, though. Uh, first scene of Jonathan and Martha Kent embracing after news of their son's death. Uh, and here we see the uh, shapeshifter transforming back into Supergirl. Um, Cadmus taking away Doomsday's body. They have to use uh, gravitational discs or whatever to do that. Uh, Bibbo comes with Dr. Emil Hamilton to kind of try and help resuscitate Superman. Um, which pretty much would require uh, a lightning bolt. But... It overloads, and they're not they're not able to really do much. Here we have Bane, the man who finally breaks the Batman. Um, I will be I will cover this. Um, I don't know if it'll be this year or not, but I will eventually cover each issue of. Uh, the breaking of the bat, uh, Nightfall, Night's End, Night Quest, all those. But I really enjoyed the Death of Superman, Funeral for a Friend, Reign of the Superman, and Return of Superman uh, story arc. Very, very well done comics. You can tell that Dan Jurgens was pretty much the one in charge over all of this. His characters, uh, Dan Jurgens created uh, Bloodwind. He created Doomsday. You know, and he pretty much created this storyline. Uh, I'm not trying to take anything away from any of the other creators or anything like that, but. Dan Jurgen's signature is all over all four storylines. Even if he didn't actually write it, you know, he is the spiritual advisor. He is the He is the spirit of the death and return of Superman. Um so like I said, I really enjoyed this. 
Uh, it gave us a little bit more insight into what happened immediately following Superman's fall to Doomsday. Uh, up next, we'll be taking a look at Justice League America number 70, which is a tie-in to Funeral for a Friend. It shows it takes place at the same time as Adventures of Superman number 4, 98. Uh, the, at the exact same time, uh, it picks up with Blood, Wind, and Ice. Uh, pretty much in the same scene as this one picked up with. Uh, and then instead of focusing on Lois and all the other people in Metropolis, we then move in and focus on everyone who's ever been a part of the Justice League. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. And... I hope you'll join us here uh, when we do that video. Uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna cover each issue of Funeral for a Friend, and then we're gonna try and cover each issue of the Reign of the Superman. And I'm gonna have to do the Return of Superman, maybe, it, perhaps in a different format. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm trying to get all the physical comics so I can do reviews like this very casually. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time anymore. Uh, at least until the season's over with, which is going to be a few months. Spring is just starting. So, anyway, there you have it, guys. The Adventures of Superman, number 498. Funeral for a Friend, number one. This was from January of 1993. Uh, this was the second printing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure and tune in next time for Justice League America number 70, which will be on the air uh, for you guys tomorrow. For me, uh, I'm going to be recording it next. And as I said, today's Saturday. It'll upload or it'll be published on Thursday. So make sure if you like this content to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you stay up to date on all our videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care.